Hello, it's Ollie here from talkinginpictures.co.uk. Hope you are doing very well indeed. Now, check this out. I'm going to see if I can make a reindeer out of these wonderful magnets. So, let's have a go. What we're going to need is two hexagons. Hexagon. How many sides has a hexagon got? You know it's got six. You know I'm on top. Now, what we're going to do is to try to make... Uh, Make the body of this hexagon. So it's 2D, let's make it 3D by joining them together with squares. So how quickly can we do this? So uh, these magnetic uh, little gizmos, little sh magnetic shapes, do make it really easy to give yourself uh, the body. So there you go. Hexagon, uh, hexagonal prism, some might say. So, we got the body, what else are we gonna need? We're gonna give him a nice neck, okay? The neck is just a, uh, basically a cube. So we can make a cube, again, really easily. One, two, three. Let's make the little net like that, and uh, you can make uh, make it like a cross. Whoop. Put the magnets all flip around. So we're gonna lift that up, we're gonna lift that up. Now, it's a box, but the top of the neck is already there, so we can take away a square. All right, check it out. That is our body. Now, what else are we going to do? Uh, should we do the head or the legs? Head or the legs? Let's go for the legs. Okay. Well, the legs slash its bum. So its bum's going to come off the uh, side here. Or is it the bum? No, more like its torso. Okay, so this this isn't just its body. It's more like its chest. This is the big, uh, a big proud reindeer with a big old, a big old chest. <clears throat> If I was a big reindeer with uh, big stag, staggy horns, then I would stand up tall and proud too. So, what we got? We're going to uh, stick that on there. Uh, it doesn't want to stick because the magnets are, ah, but luckily, could have probably should have taken off that uh, part there, but we're going to try and do it quickly. So, if there is an extra um, thing on there, well, it doesn't matter. So, this is all the magnets that you need are in the... Um, Talking in Pictures, Animal Magnets box, and it comes with some handy dandy symbols to show you uh, some ideas of what to make too. Uh, it's kind of linked with my, uh, yeah, linked with all of the Talking in Pictures communication toy boxes, and the idea of having fun ways to build. Now, um, I was going off into something else there, and I've forgotten what I was doing, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing, which is creating hopefully the legs okay so we've got a leg down here so these big isosceles triangles are the legs and then i am just going to stick a foot on <laughs> oh no <laughs> he says right so what's the aim of doing this what is the aim not the aim what is the lesson the lesson here is when you're going to do something as a showcase, don't hold it up too high, because if it falls down, you're going to come a cropper. So I've already come a cropper by not uh, concentrating, and coming a cropper is an interesting term, which I don't know where it actually comes from. But it basically means when you mess something up, you've, come, you've become a cropper. So... As we go on like this, I hope everyone is doing well out there. If you like these videos, please subscribe. I'm going to do the usual uh, YouTube standard. Please subscribe. Enjoy the content. I hope the content is nice for you all in this world of the internet where everyone's screaming for your attention. So hopefully um, this is quite nice or gives you a nice idea of how to build a reindeer. Um, we're getting there. Are oh, we getting there? Let's have a look. So we're working on what we're working on now. The hoofs. There's a hoof there. So we've got a little triangle hoof there. Another one there. We've got an, uh, the base square there. Oh yes, I'm feeling, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling that this is coming together. Okay, so that is one hoof and a leg. Let's carefully hold this up so that it doesn't all over again so we've got a nice hoof there as you can see so the whole point of this video is to show you how quickly and easily 
you can make a reindeer. Now, um, I probably haven't made it that easy, but it's just to show you uh, that even a clumsy old geezer like me can just about, if he concentrates, create something quite nice relatively quickly. And basically, although I'm talking away, I am actually enjoying this, having quite a lot of fun. It's actually more fun <laughs> not talking, but as in if you're concentrating or your child is concentrating, they will get it done quicker if they're not trying to shoot a video at the same time, obviously. Um, but <laughs> that's what it is. Look at that. Right, that is quite nice and stable. So that is our body, as you can see. And what's nice about creating bodies like this, creating, um, creating your reindeer, is that you get to see the form as you would um, if you were drawing. So this is a great introduction to drawing things as well. So you can build this and then show how, by using simple shapes, you can actually create the basis of a drawing. I'm not gonna do that because I'm not particularly good at drawing, but doesn't mean I shouldn't give it a go. So maybe at some point in the future, I will give it a go. Now, we've just got a little bit, it's a bit odd this head, doesn't quite make sense when you first um, when you first grab it, but as you go on, it will start to make sense. So let me just put that there for a second. How are we doing for time? We are on six minutes, no, nearly seven minutes. So all we've got to do is get the head for this wonderful, uh, wonderful reindeer he says not panicking at all because he's not run out of squares i've actually run out of squares so let's see if i can get some more so that is very good if you need more squares you should have them readily available and like i said everything you need will be in one of these boxes it's a good note to double check quality control and just make sure there are definitely enough squares. I think I was only missing, uh, I was missing one or two squares for his head. Or maybe I wasn't. Maybe I'm just panicking for no reason. I wouldn't do something like that, me panic. No, panic. panicking is absolutely fine. Uh, I think there's only one square missing. So that square is just going here, which is just uh, basically his brain, I think. The old ooh, reindeer brain, which would seem what I've got at the moment, a reindeer brain, because I've just chopped his head off. So it's actually going to be harder <laughs> than I first thought, because... This top of the head is actually quite confusing. Now, I'm not really doing a particularly good job of demonstrating how amazingly easy this is, but this is quite an advanced model. Obviously, <laughs> the makeup of this, we've had uh, hexagonal prisms, squares, uh, triangular prisms, all as part of it. So if your learning journey takes you just to making a cube, or even just sticking a couple together. It's all good, it doesn't really matter. It's all part of the fun. I'm still having fun. <laughs> Whether you're still having fun and you've watched all this way is another question. But, da -da 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 -da, we, you'll be pleased to know we're nearly there. So, we're gonna stick on a good old reindeer. Hey. Good old reindeer antlers, but it does need a little bit more um, appreciation for the antlers. That's where we needed the squares because his head, he needs a bit of a thick head in order to support all of the mighty weight of these fantastic antlers. So. We're getting them going here, we're getting them going up here and here. 
Mess that up. No, that doesn't matter. There we go. So as, as you can see, I starting to look a bit fancy up at the top here, which is when the counterbalance of the uh, legs at the bottom needs to be quite secure. So just quite quite a tricky bit here, actually. So let's go that one. I'm going to link this. Let's link that together. Well, that should give us a little bit more stability. That's looking a bit better. And so this is really important that you actually hold, hold this bit because ugh, the back is going to fall over because it's actually a counterbalance. The horns are a counterbalance, which kind of creates an arch, kind of like a bridge, like an upward bridge. So the these these magnets at the top, these isosceles triangles, actually form, like I said, a counterbalance. Which, if we manage to get these last few, ah, everything's falling apart. If we manage to get these last couple of triangles on, then it will all work and it won't fall apart in my hands. He says, desperately hoping it doesn't fall apart. I think, have I, have I created too much of a challenge for myself in this video? Quite possibly. Okay, there might be a way of linking. I just need to link, yeah, this and this, so it doesn't all fall apart. And that is its head. Have a couple of uh, foot problems down here. So, what I actually added, oh, I think it's almost ready, but what I added, just to help with the counterbalance, is a cute little tail. Uh, which is a, uh, rect <laughs> a not rectangular based pyramid, a square based pyramid down at the bottom. So we have learned a lot of maths here, possibly a whole bunch of architecture and how to build a reindeer. So check that out. There is a reindeer in only 12 minutes. Can you beat 12 minutes? Say hello. Google, social media, down here, talkinginpictures.co.uk, talking to pictures on socials. Um, see if you can build this. Uh, if you can, if you can beat 12 minutes, which you probably should be able to do, I will send you a free prize, I, or a prize. Well, generally, prizes should be free, so uh, I'll send you a prize if you can beat 12 minutes, if you manage to do this. Um, yeah, so the reindeer and animal magic toy boxes are going to be available on the uh, Etsy site, uh, all the talking pictures, or if you'd like a customised box or something, just let me know, customised uh, magnet boxes. So, da -da 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 -da. I'm going to leave it there, have a wonderful day, I'll see you later, peace.